Okay, your model three. Okay, go on. Pearl white paint, sport wheels, autopilot, UK plug in car grant, brat brat, minus 3,000 pounds. And then it's the figure at the end. Come on then. 48,450. Ah! Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you were in love, weren't you? Dad's driving my car around. <laughs> hey guys welcome back looks new so i got a brand new car i will let you guys watch the vlog footage of that in a second but before we get into that please like this video for the youtube algorithm and subscribe to my channel it helps me out a ton and then i will join you guys back here for the latter half of the video there's a timestamp there if you just want to see the car so i'll give you guys a bit of a car tour tell you guys what i like about it so yeah enjoy the vlog it's a very sad day today isn't it mommy bear uh, you were in love, weren't you? <laughs> I'm giving my old car away now. <laughs> the love of your life. That car has been with me since uni. And my little perfect little Yaris is going to a new home now. I bet you're gonna see it. <laughs> You'll see it. Okay, let's go Whatever say bye. Sad. Oh, love ya. So I'm going to go get it washed and cleaned inside because it's very dirty. But yeah, love your car. You've been amazing. <sighs> I hope Rizwan Pai loves you as much as I do. you. Maybe I haven't even used it that much, have I love this car. We're doing one of those ones. Machine wash. Woo! I'm sad. It's the big day! Ah, it's collection day! So I just got a call from Tesla saying the car's ready. It was ready a couple hours early, but yeah, we left London to be in time for the collection time. So anyway, we're on our way now. Why are you getting it from Birmingham? Why am I getting it from Birmingham? So I had originally scheduled it for London, Blue Water, but changed it to Birmingham because we were gonna do Secret Santa in Birmingham all together, but now we're in tier four so we cancelled that sadly taking our presents with us this is mum's secret santa present we already know what it is because it, it says it's a bonsai tree but we don't know who it's from so that's exciting and our presents are in the booth so i've not actually seen anybody carrying my present right or anything like that so yeah i'll see you guys at tesla Mom, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? Very. I said 1 to 10. Okay, bye, do you? Uh, 9, because I can't be more excited than Anna because it's her car. Okay, I guess that's fine. Yay! Yay! Don't do it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. Huh? Anna, what are you doing? Picking up my car. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the key. <laughs> so these are the keys. Come on up there. Desla. Desla, as dad likes to say. Um, and Emma is here. Wait, let's have a look around as well because sometimes there's... Oh, okay. It's a bit steamy. Thoughts? Well, the white's beautiful. What is this, isn't it? Mm, new car smell. Love that. The very helpful Tesla assistant here helped me set a driver profile so I've got oh I don't know how to go back to it but basically I moved the steering wheel I moved the mirrors you can control that all from this button here and you can do move them up and down and yeah mum's gonna set her driver profile as well and I got white seats love this ah, and the glass roof as well That's really cool so yeah you don't actually get a key fob with a tesla you get your card and then you use your iphone as well and you can do all these cool things that like you can honk the horn 
and then you can open the front or the trunk you can flash your light and you can also oh i don't need sentry mode sentry mode is like if you've parked in a place you don't usually park it records all night so if you're scared of like your car getting scratched or whatever what else can you do you can control the climate from the comfort of your own bed before so you get in the car the only reason Anam has got a tesla is so that when she's still in bed she can warm her seat yes correct so you can control that from your phone how cool is and you can also like demist here so like if it's gonna fog up then you just do that yes. and then it's all oh that's good it does the front and the back that's really cool and it heats the back seats as well so if you're picking someone up yeah you can heat their seats for them before they get in perfect Woo oh that's it's cool very, very cheap got loads of storage this is cool because um the old model threes didn't have this like kind of huh? it looked a bit different and like people got like a cover thing for it because um oh, so there's no thing here no there is a dashboard but you have to open it from this i don't know where it is exactly there's some marks here as well so if you can clean that as well okay yeah i just spotted a few marks and i am just really picky but he i was really nice about it and i just asked if he could get a bit of a cleaner thing for me so they're coming now so chat to you guys in a minute <laughs> i can't believe this is my car <laughs> feels all new all yours in them i share with you mom you can share it's fine are you proud of me yeah very thanks <laughs> So it's your first big purchase, Anam. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, oh my god, this is massive. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Can't wait to show Dad. <laughs> See you guys in a sec. Dad's driving my car around. Don't know why. Showing his mates. <laughs> He's like, what should I do? There's no controls. <laughs> oh my god. And here's my old car. I gave it a hug when I saw it. Absolutely love this car. If anyone's after a first car, Toyota Yaris Hybrid is the best car, honestly. <laughs> love you. We've come to my Lahore. I'm gonna get a chicken lasagna. I haven't had that for ages. And while we're waiting, why not watch a bit of Netflix? Why not? What show you watch, Badgie? And um, this is game changing. I know, man. It's so cool. I love it. Queen. I was actually going to say let's watch something like Queen vibes. Okay. Perfect. Cool. This is crazy. Alright, going to enjoy this movie now guys. <laughs> Guess what I got. <laughs> and we're going to a supercharger. The Cortera. London being an absolute cutie. We can watch some TV, watch some Netflix if you want. You, you can come on over if you want. Right, guys, so it's my first experience at a supercharger. I'm waiting for a supercharger, so I think this might be one of the annoying things about having a Tesla. So there's only two supercharging stations here, they're both being used, and that gentleman is waiting for one. I'm next after him so we might be here a while got netflix so. yeah we do have netflix uh but let's just hope it works because we're under ground we can pick up where we left off yesterday <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, this is right by St. Catherine Dock, so it's a really nice place to have a walk around, so maybe that's not so bad. And it doesn't look like Netflix is loading, that's grip. Okay, so we are all plugged in at the supercharger. So it's at 46% at the moment, and I'm gonna do around this much. Um, I think that's about 80%. And it's gonna take 30 minutes to charge. So I've had the car for about a month now and I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a tour. Now I know the things that I really love about the car and I'll give you guys my thoughts on it. Let's start with the exterior. So I got the white exterior, this is included. Tesla changes this occasionally. I think it used to be the black that used to be included. Now it's the white, which I am really happy about because it's the color that I wanted. I was actually thinking about the gray and also the 
red but my family talked me out of that it's like a pearl color but the black is just a solid paint the white in my opinion looks really good i also got the 19 inch sport wheels which don't come as standard unfortunately but i am not a fan of the ones that come as standard so i just knew if i got the standard ones i would forever kick myself about not getting the upgraded version. So those were an additional £1,450. A great thing about the car is the front trunk and the trunk. There's a ton of storage in this car inside and outside. The front trunk is great for your little bits and bobs that don't fit in the trunk maybe if you're going on holiday or a weekend away and the trunk at the back, the boot I should call it, it has so much storage. Love that about this car. I also love the auto open so you can open the trunk from either the screen or on your Tesla or you can open it with the Tesla app which the app is great by the way there's so many functions that you can do through the app the old Model 3 doesn't have the auto close button it's just the little things that really make a difference I love that they've added that now and you can just press a button and walk away from your car and the boot will close another thing I love about the exterior of the car is the frameless doors I haven't seen many people talk about this but I think it just looks great that there isn't a panel along the window Window. and when you have the window all the way down and your doors open it just looks great there's no frame and yeah it kind of reminds me of a sports car when I look at that bit of the car also the front of the car the shape of it is similar to a Porsche I think it's got that sports car kind of feel towards the front of the car the rear of the car is not my favorite angle of the car I'll be honest I think it just looks like a very standard kind of car. The back of the car comes up quite high which is a bit of a hindrance when you're driving because your rear view mirror has a lot less view than what my old car had which was a Toyota Yaris. So I went for the long range model which also gives you the option of upgrading your interior. So I went with the white interior which I knew from the beginning that I wanted the white interior because it's just so iconic Tesla. That was an additional £1,000 though but I absolutely would do it again I think it's definitely worth it. Before getting the white interior I did have concerns about the cleanliness of it, how much jeans would transfer their colour onto the seats. A lot of people just mentioned in their YouTube videos that baby wipes do the job. So far I haven't really seen much wear on the seats like any colour transfer or anything but if there is like I don't know like a bit of food might have dropped on the seat then baby wipes do the trick for cleaning that. If anyone's thinking about the white seats right now I would definitely recommend them because they look great and they're easy to clean. Now with the interior of the car this is a common complaint that many Tesla customers have is that there is a little bit of misalignment and for a car that's worth around £50,000 there really just shouldn't be any misalignment so there is some misalignment on the panelling that you can see here and on the seats as well. It's not that noticeable I am going to write to Tesla about it because I just want it to be perfect but again it wouldn't stop me from getting the car in the first place but it is annoying that it's there because of the price of the car. One of the great features about the car is also the panoramic roof and it also has UV and infrared protection which is great and yeah I think it looks great as well from the outside it just looks like it's one big screen all the way. It's probably really nice to go camping in as well. Now let's talk about the huge screen which all Teslas have. It has everything to basically control the car. There aren't many buttons. There's only like a button to open your door and windows so when you buy a Tesla currently in the UK you get premium connectivity for a year which allows you to stream on YouTube Netflix and Spotify you obviously need an account with Netflix and Spotify to be able to use this but it's great that it's included for the first year I think after the first year it's $9.99 a month so you have all of your controls here including the demisters the volume control button which is also on the steering wheel heated seat the aircon etc is all over here which is good but it's also a little bit of a hindrance to have the aircon I feel as a button on the screen because if you're driving on the motorway if you're not using autopilot it is annoying to be using that screen and then adjusting where you want the air to blow and just adjusting the temperature and stuff it's a bit fiddly to do it on a screen whereas if you have buttons you can just tell if you've pressed the right button or not so that's something I wish Tesla would change it would be good to have that maybe on the steering wheel I have got a little hack for this though if you you want to t just turn the aircon off or climate control off or on you can just use the voice command to do that turn off climate control 
so that's quite helpful if you're driving on the motorway so you've also got three camera views which are great when you're parking this actually only comes up with the reverse gear engaged which is understandable but I would also really like to see I don't know if this is just because I'm not that great of a driver but I would really like to have a front camera just to see how close my bumper is to the car in front of me with driving in London everything's really packed and tight and the roads are really tight so that's just something that I would like but maybe that's just me and my not very great driving skills. One thing I really love about the screen as well is the navigation system. It uses Google Maps which is great, it's really reliable. If you put in a destination and you'll need to charge on the way it automatically tells you where to stop which is super helpful, you don't need to do any of the calculating yourself. And it also tells you how much battery you will arrive with so you can plan your trip really well using the navigation system on board. Now a few little interior bits that I will go over quickly. The mirror is very stylish I feel. I just haven't seen a mirror so minimalist but still cool looking. I really appreciate that. The center console has a lot of storage as well so there's this really deep cubby would you call it? I don't know. And then another one as well so there's lots of storage and there's also a wireless mouse at at the front so the old model 3 didn't used to have that a lot of people got a wireless charging mat I think from Tesla themselves so it's great that they've now included that I will say though my phone case doesn't charge this is a case to buy case and Apple cases do work but this case is just a little bit too thick for the wireless charging but it's a great feature to have anyway. I also really love the redesign of this because the old Model 3 used to get fingerprints and people would get that bit wrapped. There's no issues like that now and the materials are really great and I love the way it looks. Now for the back of the car, quite spacious I would say for a car this small because there's no hump for the middle passenger so it's not annoying for the middle passenger. You can also heat the middle seat so all of the seats are heated as well so that's great and it's something I really really appreciate because living in the UK I feel like it's really cold here. The fact that you can just start your car and heat it up before you get in is such a blessing. So of course from the app you also have your own phone key which uses Bluetooth so you don't need to carry the key with you which is the card. I never carry my key card with me when I leave I just have my phone and it works perfectly fine. You just need to make sure Bluetooth is always switched on. You also are able to lock your car of course and open the windows just to air it out. You can flash your lights, honk the horn, things like that through your app as well. You can also upgrade your car through the app so I have acceleration boost which I can purchase which I'm not going to get because the 0 to 60 on this car is already insane and it already is kind of crazy so I'm just going to leave that. And you can also upgrade to full self-driving and I haven't done that it's £6,800. I did initially intend to but then after doing a bit of research I realised that you can't actually use a lot of that in the UK because of the laws and regulations here but the autopilot on this car is great and it's basically all I need really. For motorway driving it's great, the car turns itself on the motorway and cruise control is great as well, it slows down as the car in front of you slows down and picks up as the car picks up as well. So a lot of people have this question for me which is how do you charge your car? Normal people have a charger installed at home which usually charges your car in about seven hours and every day you wake up to a fully charged car. I haven't got that purely because I'm lazy and it's not okay. I should just get this installed but the reason I haven't is because we might be moving to Birmingham soon. I don't know when I'll be moving so I decided to hold off on that but I think I will just take the plunge and get a charger for my home in London. What I am doing at the moment is charging with a regular three pin outlet which a lot of people don't know you can do at home. You can just use a normal power outlet and charge your car with that. It does charge very very slowly though so it takes more than 24 hours for a full charge but in between that I also supercharge. There's a few superchargers in London. Now if you're thinking about getting a Tesla in the UK something you should bear in mind is the fact that the cold weather does drain the battery so you'll go to sleep and the car will be on I don't know 35% and you'll wake up and it might be on like 32 maybe even 30% depending on how cold it is. So yeah, 
bear that in mind and get a charger installed at home. Lastly, I want to really stress how economical this car was for me. If you're thinking about getting a Tesla and you have a business and you're wanting to get it through your business, it works out to be so great because of tax purposes and benefit in kind and that sort of stuff. I will do a separate video on that because I'm so passionate about this. It's kind of like getting your car for half price kind of but I'll do the math properly and let you guys know how much it worked out for me. Some other great benefits about the car financially is the fact that you don't have to pay congestion charge if you're living in London and you commute into central a lot and then also the ULEZ charge you don't have to pay because the car is fully electric so it works out great and I think that wraps up this video. I hope it was informative and entertaining for you guys. If you are thinking about getting a Tesla please use my referral link in the description box. I was so silly I forgot to use a referral link even though I watched Tesla videos for so long before buying a Tesla you get a thousand free supercharger miles so don't make the same mistake I did and benefit from the referral link in the description box and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one bye